seeing out in their talks, uh, more replicated uh, a real world environment. The squadrons are online um, across the, really the eastern half of GTA. As the targets were raised uh, on their FBCB2s and uh, their CPOF, they would see uh, an enemy element uh, progressing toward their positions. And then uh, the targets would raise, and uh, that was all synced across, really across the regiment. So we had uh, the deep fight, where we had the, uh, the air weapons team engaging those deep targets. And then as they crossed a, a, a certain phase line uh, at a certain point in the battle, that's when the, uh, the direct fire engagement began. And then we ca uh, called in artillery through our fire squadron. And then uh, the squadrons uh, engaged their, their mortar sections and their mortar uh, platoons. And then uh, lastly, uh, it was at direct fire engagements with uh, 50 cal, MGS, uh, Mark 19. Uh, in order to integrate the, the dismounted uh, infantry into the fight, as well as the engineers, we created uh, four objectives, uh, dismount objectives, which were basically mount sites. So uh, there were two breaching operations that the engineers conducted. And then uh, the dismount uh, infantry uh, cleared uh, uh, four different mount sites or, or objectives. And then uh, they, uh, they pass that mount, mounted element onto the ranges, and then that's when the, the direct fire engagements began. None of this could have gotten done without you know, JMSC, uh, range control, uh, JMTC, and, and all of the, all of the uh, enablers from RHHT, as well as uh, the chain of command, my chain of command, who verified products, signed off, approved, and, uh, and, and really made, drove this mission. When you got soldiers that are motivated, when you got soldiers who are uh, uh, disciplined and professional enough to get their head in the exercise and learn from each other on a daily basis, you can't you can't replicate that in any simulation or any classroom. This is where they're learning how to do their craft. The RCO and I couldn't be any more proud of every dragoon in the formation, and with staying with our motto: "Choose your prey, always ready."